Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Whoa, Susie, that's not for you to be like that. Well, of course there is a name for me to be like that. So there, meow. Hello, everyone. I'm Carrie. And I'm Humphrey. Today is Thor's Day. Who wants to hit coronavirus with Stormbreaker? Humphrey, again with that? Ah, Humphrey, we talked about this. Hey, you, you, you can't ignore me. Humphrey, we told you it's not a good idea to use Stormbreaker. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know why it took us... I know y'all wondering, what took you guys so long to record this, this little podcast? Well, you know what happened? It just so happened that we were in Bree, and then they had this major farm festival. I know. It was so boring. So boring. Ah. Yeah. And the outside, it smells atrocious. Yeah, and then of course, last week there were the wildfires. And, oh, back at home, back at our hometown. Whoo! I felt bad for everybody trying to meet up, trying to figure out what to do with our Princess Turner channel. And, uh, and uh, what happened? Whoo! It smoked outside, and Duchess is like, well, she had a can, she had a, she said, no new videos need to be produced during this time, because that air was just so bad. Ah, uh, I know, right? Yeah. But, we are finally out of Brie. And, uh... Wait, wait, wait! Are we forgetting someone? Uh-oh. 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 It's Loki. Ooh, finally. I'm out of that pathetic town that you kids call Brie. Ugh. Hey, Loki. When are you going to be a toy like us? Oh, I never want to be a toy like you. You want to know why? Because I like being naughty. Hee 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 hee. Ah! Gee, Susie, don't be like that. I know. And I can't stand Jacqueline's assistant telling me I shouldn't talk the way I talk. I've been talking like this for three years. Three years! Ah! Okay. <laughs> now that we're finally out of breath. Let's head towards Riverdale. Hey, look, over there, girls, it's well as hot. Oh, no. I'm not going there. Why not? Hello, Humphrey. Frodo got stabbed up there, remember? Oh, yeah. That was, that was also known as Alan Silva. You're right. Let's not go there. Ugh, that's a terrible place. Yep. And... <laughs> so. Yeah, for, forget going up there. Well, we can go to Riverdale. Yeah. So, let's go south. And there it is. Riverdale. All right. I guess long enough to make it there. Whew. And that is where we're going to park ourselves for a good long while. Because beginning in September. Yeah. Okay. So, so starting on Thursdays in September... We're going to be doing a journey through the Silmarillion. So we're going to stay in Rivendell for a while. Good. There better be a library for me to read books. Oh, yeah, we forgot. Loki likes to read books. And if any of you decide to disturb me, you will all be uber pranked. Loki! Books! Oh, goody. Get me the books. Huh. Well, now that Loki's out of our hair, we can all discuss the history of this place without him <laughs> being naughty. Ah, uh, you know I can hear you. Okay, sorry, Loki. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Remino was 
was the last homely house east of the sea. Yeah. And that's where a lot of elves live. Wow. To be honest, though, there is hardly any elves there. Yeah, this place is pretty empty since they abandoned it. Huh. Well, the sad news was, whew, it was a place of culture, of learning, of excitement. Yeah. The same place where in the Lord of the Rings movie, that's where Elrond had a council. And everybody decided who was going to take the ring to Mordor. Yeah, not Mordor. Ugh. Yeah, who knows? Who understands that Mordor? Ugh. Yeah, I never trust somebody whose name is Mordor. Because you add one more R and it's Mordor. <laughs> yeah. Great. Since when? Look, we used to be a respectable podcast, but now we've been downgraded to... Telling bad jokes. Ooh. Not too bad, Humphrey. Remember? Oh, yeah. About that. Oh, wait a minute. There's something we're forgetting. In the Hobbit movies, that's where the dwarves went. I made a mess out of everything. Because they all threw the photo around. Bofors stood up and started singing and dancing. And we found out that Keeley had a thing for elves. <laughs> yeah. An extended person of the Hobbit, which you probably should watch because you'll enjoy it. Keeley was smiling at elves and winking at elves and flirting with elves. And then they called him out on it. And then Keeley's like, ooh, that elf over there ain't bad. And then Dwellin's like, uh, that's not a girl elf. And it was a guy elf. And he stared at Keeley. And then everybody started laughing, and Keeley was embarrassed. <laughs> that must have been so embarrassing for Keeley. Come on, Susie, don't be like that. Ah ha ha! You could just you should have seen his face when he was called out on liking girl elves. Oh, excuse me. You know, a guy like him who likes elves, uh, that was only a precursor to him uh, flirting with Tario. I mean, you wanted to know where that story came from. Look, if you wanted to hear the story about how Keely had a thing for Tario, well, look no further than the first movie. Yeah. And then, of course, though, Dude had the nerve to be looking at Tario, and he said, aren't you going to search me? I can have anything in my pants. And then she says, or nothing. And then she slams it on his face. <laughs> Jackson must have been extremely clever to allow that to get past the censors. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> now, Rivendell was also a place where Bilbo went to live after he retired. Yeah, he said he wanted to go back to Mirkwood. See Lake Town and visit the Lonely Mountain again. And if we're going by what we saw in the Hobbit movies, he was planning to die there. Humphrey, don't make it so morbid. Of course I'll make it a morbid. Come on now. <sighs> Zolf Gandalf's father Bilbo turned into a jaded, lonely hobbit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, so did everybody like the relationship between Bilbo and Thorin and Keely and Tario? Well, yeah. I We all did. And when George R. Martin asked us this question and we all said yes, here's his response. What was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah! 
That George R. R. Martin should not have been allowed to be in this story! Please, George R. Tolkien was already creating characters we liked and killing them off before George R. R. Martin came to the picture. I mean, come on. We can remember, George R. R. Martin is a huge Tolkien fan. Yeah, besides, why wouldn't he give us all these great characters that we like and they completely bunch it up and we all go, Oh no, he did not just do that! Oh, he did. He did. Ooh, what's this? A bunch of little toys complaining about, Oh, somebody made a character that we like and then it killed them. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you would you, you be very careful, Loki. Why? Because a lot of people liked you in the Thor movies. Yeah, and then that Thanos broke your neck like it was a twig. Oh, are we still talking about that ugly purple space raisin who I want to murder? Yeah, we are. What you gonna do about it? I'll have you all know that if anybody dares say Thanos did nothing wrong, I will hunt them down and I will mess everything up for them. Oh, great. Wait, you're not gonna uber prank them? Oh, the uber pranks are for you, despicable little toys. Oh, I would do far worse to those jerks than I would to you. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a problem here, Loki. Uh-oh. Please don't tell me that the Black Order is here. Hey, look, it's Loki. Hello, Loki. Hi, Loki. Go away! I already have problems dealing with these little toys. Oh, look, the little plastic toy. Hey, you me, punk. Oh, you are so getting kicked. Yeah. I will scratch your eyes out! Unfortunately, well, there is a bit of violence in this scene, so please be patient while we work to resolve this unresolvable issue. <clears throat> Sorry for that interruption, everyone. <laughs> that was deemed completely unnecessary, but still. Mm -mm -mm. The Black Order is not invited on this show. And so, they got the crap kicked out of them. <clears throat> so, Black Order, what did we learn today? Hurting Loki is not good. <clears throat> I'm glad you learned that lesson. Now. Get out while you still have the ability to walk. Ah! Good job, Tiara. You totally got them. Yes. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Oh, <laughs> anyway, speaking of which, well, <laughs> I, well, we have gotten a little disappointed with the with how Princess Toyner channel is going, and I say if they don't get their act together and uh, do something productive, we are going to have to move out and get our own channel. Really, you would do that? Oh yeah, we'd get our own channel. And then we post every Thursday. And nobody bothers us. Well, we don't want to do that. That costs money. Money that we don't have right now. Oh, and speaking of which, we now have a word from our proud sponsors. Hey girls, are you bored at home? Yes. Are you tired of regular television? Yes. Have you had enough of binge watching TV on Netflix? Yes. Well, your days of boredom are over. 
So, turn off those TVs and switch on your computer to go straight to YouTube where you'll find Princess Toy Nerd. You mean the Princess Toy Nerd channel? Yep. And that on this channel, you will find that we produce our videos with a bit of finesse. And, oh, and a bit of finesse, that means yes. And it's also a bit of flair, if you please. Oh, and we also, <laughs> here's what we offer here. But what do you guys offer? We offer skits, short films, <laughs> original series, and oh yeah, a full-length feature film. A full-length feature film? Oh yes, mini-series, regular series. Oh, you name it, we do it. We get reason, of course. So, <laughs> if you're bored and you don't have anything else to do, well, Come on by Princess Toy Nerd on YouTube, which is hosted by Littlest Pet Shop. Princess Toy Nerd is not sponsored by Hasbro. Baxter. What? Just doing my job. Oh. And, <laughs> and if you want more, then stay on YouTube and support your fellow LPS tubers who make extraordinary videos featuring Littlest Pet Shop toys. So, I'm Duchess, and that is your ad for today. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program, which is already in progress. <sighs> well, yeah, I hope that commercial here wasn't a bit too much, was it? Oh, okay, everybody. So, remember, where are we now? Oh, yeah, we are in Riverdale, where we just kicked the crap out of the Black Order and set them packing. Yes! I am so done with those guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you see that Ebony Ma? Oh, you mean Squidward? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We will forever know him as Squidward. Yeah, stupid Squidward. Well, didn't you make a joke on Pinterest, boy? Yeah, Squidward, get out of here and take that bad clarinet playing with you. I'm sure there's half a million clarinet players out there who will want <laughs> stupid Squidward's head on a platter of gold. Why not silver? Silver's a little too passe. Let's get gold. Oh, yeah. So now that we're selling down Riverdale? Eh, it's been turned into a vacation spot. <laughs> ah. I know, and a lot of places are a bit of a mess. Yeah, such a shame that everything had to decline. But hey, it was built by elves. And you know that elves don't like change. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? I am the god of change, and I wish that I could give those prissy little elves exactly what they deserve. <laughs> ah, Loki! Again? Ah, well, I think it's time we call it quits. But not before we do gossip! 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 Yes. Well, there are rumors that we are definitely getting WandaVision, not Scarlet Vision, you uncultured swine, onto Disney Plus. Yes! And we're still waiting on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, too. <laughs> yep. Both those shows are going to be great! You know what else is going to be great? My show. The Loki Show. <laughs> and if you don't talk about my show, I will destroy you all. I thought you were going to uber prank us. Oh, <laughs> I will do more than just uber prank you all. <laughs> ah! Dang, Susie, don't be like that. 
I'll uh, contact everybody like that. <laughs> oh, and uh, where's well, they're gonna they might do Black Widow a video on the man. Hopefully, when they get it in theaters, come on now. Let's get Black Widow in theaters and video on the man for those who can't afford to go to the theaters. That's right. We're gonna make Marvel great again. <laughs> well, this is kind of the shortest podcast we've done. I know. But we are not going to do any more Reunited Apart episodes, no matter what Jacqueline said. Ugh. I know. That was like our lowest watched episode ever. I know. I know people are already picking up on us watching our other show. But still. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. Well, there there was that trailer for the new Batman movie, and woo, it is survived. Yeah, and this time they will do the Riddler right. Yeah, that guy is creepy. Oh, you know, I am terrified of the prospect of Robert Pattinson's Batman meeting Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. I mean, he would grab that guy and slam his head on the desk. The way Christian Bale slammed Heath Ledger's head on the desk. I know, right? That was so violent and terrifying. But hey, look, does it matter who plays the Joker? <laughs> Joker is going to be messed up. Joker is always going to be messed up. Ah! Yeah, let's just hope that Joaquin Phoenix and Robert Pattinson never meet. Because if they do, in a Batman movie... We are definitely getting a repeat of the head slam. Yeah. I know. But at the same time, though, we are still wondering, will the Zack Snyder's version of the Justice League even cut it? (laughs) Well, that's just going to be one of those wait and see things. Yeah. So we're just going to wait and see. Okay, thank you all for tuning into this podcast. I'm sorry if this thing is late, but uh, yeah. Well, if you're tired of us doing late podcasts, and you probably want to know more about the exciting world of Middle Earth, let us know about it in the comments below. Make sure to click like, subscribe, a leave a comment on this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Yeah. And, uh, wait. Did you say like? Yeah. I said smash that like button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Great. Hide the button. Oh, smash like button. <laughs> ah! No. We can't get back to the smite button. Hulk smash knife brother! Hulk smash knife brother! Uh, can you please not smash the like button? Uh, I can't afford to magically fix it. Uh, yeah you can. Uh, it's the principle of the matter. Ooh. Oh, okay. So remember everyone, that's all for now. And uh, if you want to know more about Middle Earth and everything in it, please send us a video and we will make sure to do a podcast about it. And remember, all video requests must be token oriented or we won't be doing it. So, that's all. Now, I own this podcast and the podcast is over. So, meow. Goodbye. 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 Me. Mm-hmm.